And uh, I couldn't bring my, my polarized sunglasses here, so I brought these actual polarizers here. So they, if you take this and put it in front of your telescope there, you have now made a polarimeter. You have made a polarization-sensitive telescope. Now, you may not be able to immediately know how you would use such a thing, but one way to think about it, now take this guy and look at a, a light, look at a light source, put one up to your eye, and now put the other one in front of it, anywhere, and now rotate them. What happens to the light source? It becomes brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer. Yeah, so it's called a quadrupolar pattern, right? So it's repeating. It goes bright, dim, bright, dim. Uh, it rotates twice in intensity for every single physical rotation. Wow. And that's because of the property of the photon. The photon is a spin one field, but the polarization of light is it's the axis at which its electric field is oscillating. Its electric field is marching straight up and straight down. And so therefore, vertical polarization is the same as negative vertical polarization. And so you get the same pattern as you rotate two times for every one physical rotation. So it's like a spin, a spin two uh, object. So now if you put that in front of the telescope, you can do one of two things. Now you're polarizing all the light that's going in because you have one of the polarizers. And then you can analyze it as you rotate the other one. You can analyze it and change the amount of polarization. Or you can put this kind of very special crystal in here. There's a crystal, it's called calcite. This is from Lex Luthor, not Lex Friedman. This crystal, put it on top of uh, your printed notes there and tell me, what does it look like? There's a... Uh... Like I, I could see everything twice. It's a double image. It's a double image. It, that is a special crystal that has two different indices of refraction. Mm. So light emerging, which is unpolarized from the black ink, comes out, and it splits into two different directions. And it could split even more if I made the crystal give you my more expensive crystal, but that's all I have. What is the crystal with this kind of property called? It's called calcite. This is crystal. It's called birefringent crystal. Bi means two. Refringent means refracting. So this is a special type of material that um, separates light based on its polarization. It's pretty clean by signal. Like yeah. It's, it's cleanly too. Yeah. I'm seeing, I'm seeing too very cleanly. It's very crisp, right? So that's that's yours to keep with every time you host me. Now, take the polarizer underneath your left hand. Uh, yep. Put it on top of the crystal and kind of move it back and forth. Wow. Let's have it. This is incredible. You can switch as you rotate. You switch from one uh, signal to the other. So it's so one of the refractions to the other. Whoa. So that is now you are analyzing the polarization. You are confirming the light comes out of the crystal, two different types of polarization. And effectively what we do is we have those two things, if you like, but working in the microwave, so our detector, that's where the, the cosmic photons are brightest in the microwave regime of the electromagnetic spectrum. And we're coupling that to a refracting telescope, but your eyes are refracting telescopes. So you are a polarimeter right now. You, the human eye can actually slightly detect polarization, um, but otherwise it mainly detects its intensity of light and the color. That's what we call color and intensity, brightness. So you're devising an um, instrument that's very precisely measuring that polarization. Exactly. And doing so in the microwave region with detectors not made of uh, biological human ice, retina cells, but of superconductors and uh, things called bolometers. And, and this has to be done at, at temperatures close to absolute zero under vacuum conditions, one billionth of the pressure we feel here at sea level.